Hey everybody, Mate McMeme here. Uh, so given kind of the current uh, political climate in America at least, I kind of wanted to make a video on this topic. Uh, especially, you know, kind of given the, uh, there was that uh, proposed bill that would make it illegal to boycott uh, Israel. And I've seen a lot of anti-Semitism and uh, anti-Israeli sentiments being kind of spread around and the internet. Uh, kind of in response to that bill, I guess. So I kind of wanted to make a counterpoint talking about some of the perks of Zionism. Uh, perk number one. Uh, it's justice. It's just justice. Because see, back in the day, the Israeli people were spread all across the world against their will. They were displaced and they had to spend thousands of years looking around for a new home, which they didn't even ever find. So, uh, when, you know, after World War II, it only makes sense for them to be able to displace other people so that they can get their home back. It only just makes sense. It's justice. Uh, perk number two, uh, it's not oppressive uh, like the Palestinians and all the other Muslim countries around them. Uh, so that's why it's good. You know, they don't uh, oppress their women. They don't make them wear the hijabs. Um, what they do instead is they just kind of go in and they just kill all the Palestinian women. Uh, which is better than making them wear hijabs, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, they're very progressive. Uh, make everybody serve in the army. Um... It's the power of uh, progressiveness right at work. And uh, another reason why it's such a good idea is because the Jewish people are America's greatest ally. And if we kill every other Middle Eastern person, then Israel will give us complete access to all oil in the Middle East. If we establish greater Israel, which is the entirety of the rest of the world except for America. Uh, and finally, the final perk I want to mention is that uh, Israel are kind of like our, our white brothers in the Middle East, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, because most of the other people in these other Middle Eastern countries are... Uh, noticeably darker in their skin complexion than uh, a lot of the Israelis. So they're kind of like our our racial friends uh, in kind of a a hotbed of of brown people. And I'm a fan of diversity. I pr uh, promote diversity. Um, so I think we need to just get as many white people in there as possible. And uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, you know... I don't, I'm not trying to be a big authority here. You don't necessarily have to change your mind because you'll watch this video. But I'm just trying to kind of offer you this, maybe this kind of new perspective you hadn't thought about before. And, you know, you're not being uh, kind of coerced and tricked by these uh, more liberal news outlets that uh, don't respect America's greatest ally. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And make sure to support your local Jewish business.